Welcome to Grandad Reviews. In my last video, we had a look at basically what it costs to get into film photography. Uh, we looked at some of the camera options and then what it, the added extras on top of that in developing and scanning. Whether we're having it done in a lab or ourselves. So what I thought I'd look at in this video is the cheapest option that you can actually do, which is developing your own black and white film. You can carry, go on to do colour as well, but we'll start with black and white. What I thought I'd look at is what kit do you need? And to be honest, it's not a lot. The first and foremost is one of these things. This is a changing bag so that you can put the film into your developing tank for developing. So you need one of these, and these are pretty cheap. You need one of these. This is a developing tank, which is light tight. And you get a reel inside it, and this is what you put your film onto. Load your film onto the reel. the lid on in that changing bag and then you can either rotate to develop or invert to develop in the tank. So you'll need a tank. Other things that you really need. This is a film leader retriever. Now some people just knock the, the lids off The actual canisters and get it out that way but I prefer to use that. You'll need one of these, some kind of temperature therm thermometer, either electronic or you can get one of the ones with mercury but I prefer the electronic one, it's a bit safer. You'll need a timer Pair of scissors. I've got a film squeegee for drying the film later. Protective gloves. Some kind of measuring jug and funnel. And other measuring jugs if you want to. Not necessarily necessary to be honest. These type these were from, yep, yeah, I got these from Audi. Got a whole set, different sizes. I've got this measuring syringe for uh, measuring some of the smaller chemicals. And then you'll need chemicals. Now, to start with, I would recommend, and a lot of people are going to hate me for this, is DF96 monobath because that's all you're going to need there's no other chemicals just that just that one chemical and that will develop it and fix it all in one and that's what I would start with and then after you've developed it and you've washed it then I you'd need what's called a rinse aid, which is a photo speed rinse aid, RA50. And it just stops getting watermarks on the film when it's hanging to dry. Then you'll just need somewhere to hang it and dry, let it dry. I normally used uh, my shower, so I just put a wooden bar across the top, an old broom or anything like that. I actually use an old monopod. Put a coat hanger on it with some pegs and uh, hang my film from there. And that's it. So as you can see, there's not a lot you need. If we narrow it down, this is the basics. And some of this you might have a already measuring jugs and such like. 
Just be tanks. They're quite cheap to get hold of, and you can buy them in a kit. But that is it. You're going to use normal tap water. You want it at 20 to 21 degrees, which is nothing really. Um, your normal tap water is going to be that kind of uh, temperature. And these few items. And then you can save yourself a lot of money in the developing side. Well then, have a look at uh, how I scan my negatives and what alternatives there are to it. So, in this video I'm just showing you the items you'd need to do your developing. And, as I say, it's, it's not a great deal. And it's quite easy to do. You don't need a dark room. You've got the changing bag, you can do it in the bathroom or any spare room you've got at all where you can get to running water quite close by. So that's why I use a bathroom, it's dead easy. You're in, you're in there, right next to the running water. So, that's my quick look. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. That helps the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.